it's little curly and welcome to a very special vlog that i am doing um little kelly's done so well so i thought i would do it too i am going to do a draw my life but uh, you guys you have to be kind because i am not the best uh, drawer I'm more of about stick men and everything so and I never really have done this I've never really told you guys anything really about my personal life you've met my sister and you've met Vinny that's about it you haven't really seen anything or heard anything of me or about me growing up or anything so I'm excited to give it a go um please 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 um leave some comments in the comment box below to let me know what you think uh, what I can do better because maybe I could try and do it again so let's get going I'm just gonna wipe all of this off and okay so here we go. I'm, I'm so excited. So, it was the 15th of June, 1989, guys. And a baby came into this world. That Yeah, that was me. I was born and um, I was a really, 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 really chubby baby. Like, the chubbiest baby you would ever see in your entire life. I was so, so cute, but so, so chubby as well. Um, So, yeah, my mom and dad called me Karina. That is my name. I don't know if all you guys know that, but that is my real name, Karina. And I have a sister who was three years older than me at the time, and her name was Amanda. Three whole years. Oh my gosh. So she was really, really cute, and then I just came into her life all of a sudden. So yeah, so there we have it, Karina and Amanda. Um, Yeah, so we were best of friends growing up, and it was really, really nice. So that means I have my mom. Who was awesome. Her name is Sandra. So, so nice. And she is just amazing. And I love her so, so much. And then my dad. And his name is Tony. And he's awesome. And he's so funny. And he's just, he's just such good crack. And they were just amazing parents. They were really good to me and my sister. There was only ever the two of us. So, they were really good. So, then there was me, Karina, and Amanda. So, that was the four of us complete. Until we got ourselves some well not something we got a boy we got a boy to our family i added to our family called uh bonzo oh my gosh yes bonzo and there we go there he is super super cute but bonzo look oh my gosh my arms uh bruno was in and he was scraping my arms you can see the marks on it ouch it was so so sore this morning but as you can see it's on my arm there but yes okay so let's go back and talk about bonzo a little bit bonzo was a cute puppy but he was also a mean puppy and he was a fighter yeah so he tried to bite me he was a bad dog but he was so cute and i don't know so he was sent to the farm bye bonzo see you later oh my gosh oh my gosh so that was the story so far so here we go again here i am here. Okay, so here I am with my sister, and then we are growing up happy as Larry getting on best friends. So we are. So let's move on to the next part of the story. Age 11. And what did I do when I was 11? I had so much fun. Oh my gosh, guys. It was just a great time. I was like nearly finished primary school. I was going into secondary school, and my mom and dad decided to put me into scouts. And that is a neckerchief. Well, it's meant to look like a neckerchief, but it doesn't really. <laughs> look like a neckerchief i am not the best draw drawer but we went on camps and we lit fires and we learned how to climb mountains really really big mountains and it was so much fun i made a lot a lot of friends in scouts and i still see them today and i don't really hike as much as i used to i would like to but i just don't find that i have that much spare time anymore guys um but maybe one day i will get back to scouting where we also used to go fishing we used to catch our own fish and make uh, delicious dinners on the fire and then we used to like stay in tents and just do really like loads of cool things i couldn't agree more everybody should do scouts it's so much fun so much fun okay moving onwards a here we go age 14 yes and here i am drawing myself again as a stick <laughs> figure oh my gosh i'm so bad at drawing and i'm also with my friends and Age 14, guys, it was really, really fun because in Scouts, I got to go on the most amazing trip of my life. Like, it was insane. I went on an airplane, yeah, in a big airplane in the sky, and we flew to a place called Switzerland, a place called Kanderstag in Switzerland, and I stayed there for two whole weeks where I climbed the Alps, guys, and it was so much fun. It was so beautiful, like, but the mount, oh my gosh, it was so big as well. We didn't do, obviously, every, uh, all the Alps. We just done a different range in the Alps. 
But then, when I got to the top of the mountain, oh no, poor Karina, she got altitude sickness. She was, I, she was, I was very sick for a long time, guys. So I had to be carried down on the, uh, from the mountain on a train. And then I got down and then I was fine and everything was a-okay. So it was. Just gonna rub all of this off. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is a super, super fun. Like, the funnest thing ever. Okay, so, here we go. Moving on. Now, age 17. So, Karina is in school. She's been in school for years, having great fun. I love school. And I know everybody doesn't like school, guys, but I really like school. I made so many friends. That's actually where I met Cassie the cat in school. But age 17, it was kind of a hard year. Going to school, I had to go and I had to do this big exam called my leaving cert. And it was really hard. And I didn't, I did study, but I just found it really difficult, you know? So, mm, I don't know. The I, I actually had to do my leaving cert more than once, which is okay. So the first time I done my leaving cert at age 17, and no, 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 I failed. Not that I failed. I just didn't do get the results that I wanted. So age 18, I went back and I done it again. And the second time, I done much better than the first time, and I was so so happy. So not that I failed, but I'm just gonna circle that there just to kind of give you an idea. And yeah, so the second time I did pass, and I was so so happy, and it was great fun. But doing my leave insert enabled me to be able to go and go to university, which was so much fun. A great four years, and I was age 20 because I don't, as I said, I done my leave insert twice, and I done a pre-nursing course before that as well. So here I am in all my glory. Yes, 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 my beautiful, beautiful stick figure, and I am wearing my nurse's uniform. Yeah. I am I'm a nurse. I'm a trained nurse guys. I'm a trained intellectual disability nurse So that basically means I am um, I'm trained to look after people with who with disabilities um, And it was so much fun my college my university was called DCU There I am in all my glory and these are my books on my arm. They don't really look like books But whatever I as I said, I'm not a great drawer and um, so yeah, I got to do loads and loads of placements It was really fun. It was really sad and scary at some times as well because it's hard, you know, taking care of sick people. And then sick people are also, when they're in hospital too, they can be afraid. And it's also nice trying to, like, get to know people's parents and their families and their backgrounds and everything. It was really nice, but it was really hard. But I got to give loads and loads and loads of injections. I was trained. I was given loads of medication. Out. I was also trained in this field too. Obviously, with the whole nursing background, it's also a science degree. So I got to do loads... <clears throat> excuse me in that and I got to take people's like blood pressures and everything all their like vitals like BP temperature like everything like that and it was super super fun so that went on for four all years but like people come in and that they were really really sick and then hopefully when they left that they'd feel a little bit better after me and my friends had um, helped them and their health but yeah it was such a great experience guys i made loads and other friends actually one of my bridesmaids i met in college her name's lisa and she's just the nicest girl in the entire world sick better so there is my drawing of me as a nurse so that was age 20 so right on four years later yeah whole four years guys it took me to um finish my course and i was finished my nursing degree my level eight bachelor of nurse bachelor of nursing bachelor of science in intellectual disability nursing here i am with my lovely hair and i also got a cap and i also got a gown and it was such a good day i got to wear a cloak i felt like a wizard oh, all i needed was my harry potter wands and i would have been set and ready to go there i am and and I had to walk up with really, really high heels of my choice. Like, I was not that clever wearing my high heels. And I had to go up onto stage and pick up my certificate that said that I was a qualified nurse. It was actually a really good day. It was so nice. And my mom and dad were there. And um, Vinny's mom and dad were there. Actually, Vinny was on tour because he's in a band called Codeline. He wasn't around at the time. So he wasn't able to make it, unfortunately. But I had such an amazing day day with all my friends and all my family qualified nurse yay so it was great um also because i struggled a bit with my leaving search i didn't actually know if i was going to go to university but at the end i did omg i completely forgot the best part of the story of my life so far also age 16 i was gonna say 17 also age 16 there i am with my lovely curly hair not that it's pretty, it's actually quite straight, if you can even see it here. And here is the love of my life. There is Vinny. Yeah, 
I met him, age 16, we are together nearly 11 years, and we are getting married this summer, which is so, so exciting, Karina and Vinny. So yeah, love him, he is the light of my life, and he is just the most kind, amazing person in the entire world. So, skipping back a few years, I kind of done this a bit backwards, but whatever, uh, it's my life, I'll draw it how I want to. Um, so for years and years after I met Vinny, so as I said, Vinny was in this band called Codeline, but he didn't first start start off in a band called Codeline. He first started off in a band called 21 Demands and he went around touring and um, there's his drumstick. <laughs> I'm so bad at drawing. He went around touring for years and he still is touring and his uh, third album is coming out now this September. So please keep an eye out for that. He is, he is in a band called Codeline as I keep saying but yeah he makes amazing music with his um, friends in the band which is really really cool. He's an amazing drummer. Uh, he actually just got his second drum kit made by Bird Custom Drums which is an awesome company and here I am all happy following him around on tour going to different countries I've been to so many countries seeing um, Code Line play I've been all over Europe I've been all over Ireland I've been in the States and it's been amazing and it's such a great experience and I'm so so happy for him so that is the story of me and Vinny so let's move forward so after I finished my uh, nursing degree me and Vinny we were like what are we gonna do I don't know like especially I was at home I was bored he was always on tour I was like, I want to do something different. So we decided to pack our bags with our friends, Anya, Eton, and Jay, and hop over to London, where we set up home and we lived there for a year and a half. I'm trying my best to draw a British flag. I'm obviously not the best at it. And we had so much fun time to learn to download the touristy things, like going to see Big Ben. I actually got a job as a nurse there too, where I nursed for a year and a half, and it was awesome. It was so much fun. But then after that, guys, well, a year and a half, two years, we decided we wanted to come home we wanted to do something different um I was kind of getting a bit uh, antsy, uh, antsy over there I miss Dublin so much so we just decided that we would come home so then before we moved home, we went to the Big Apple, OMG, the best weekend of my entire life. And again, I am really bad at drawing an American flag, so I apologize to all of you guys right now. I'm uh, not very good at all, but you kind of get the gist. Mm. So we went to New York with a couple of our friends and it was November time and it was the best, I can't even spell November, I called it November. And it was me and Vinny and we went out for dinner one night and it was lovely and he asked me to marry him. He popped the question after 10 years together and it was so lovely. No, it wasn't 10 years, I think we were 9 years together because we are engaged nearly 3 years and he was super, super happy, yippee. It was amazing. It was probably the best night of my life, guys. So, getting back to, well, kind of like now-ish, really. Age 24, I think. Is it? Oh, no, age 26. Yeah, age 26. I, me and Vinny move home. We set up. We get an apartment. Uh, we move everything in. Everything from London. And then, all of a sudden, well, I've already met little Kelly before because she is going out with uh, Vinny's nephew who is also, you know, Sharky. But then me and little Kelly be started to become close. But I, I didn't really see her when I was living in London. And then I got offered to come and set, start, not set, start up um, doing some Minecraft videos with little lizard Tony Turtle and little Kelly and all of the rest of the little club at the time. It was like Donald the Dog, little Donny, uh, Ropo and Sharky. There wasn't many of us. And then uh, little Carly was born and I was so so happy and I started in the little club and I have been here ever since with the most amazing people I have ever met in my entire life and I'm just so so grateful for all these opportunities that I'm given I may I was able to meet really really good friends so yeah I'm just just so so happy so now is what's happening now in my life you'll just have to wait and see guys <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching my uh, draw my life. Um, leave some comments in the comment box below. But until next time, I'll see you again soon, guys. Three, two, one. Okay, so here I am with my sister, and then we are growing up happy as.